Once considered peasant food in South America, quinoa is now a pricey global superfood thanks to its highly nutritional qualities. And these days, quinoa can cost twice as much as rice. But it's royal quinoa, or quinoa real, that's the gold standard of quinoa. And it has sold for even more, with black royal quinoa going for $8,000 per metric ton in 2011. The price has, at times, climbed so high that many locals could no longer afford to eat it. So I asked them, but why don't they eat quinoa? It's a very important aliment. And they said, how am I going to eat quinoa? How am I going to eat plata? The quinoa is plata. So what makes royal quinoa different from other quinoa? And why is it so expensive? While different varieties of quinoa now grow all over the world, royal quinoa only grows in southern Bolivia near the Salar de Uyuni salt desert. It grows larger than other quinoas, and it's considered to be even more nutritious. It's the only plant that can produce in these zones. It's something magical, the quinoa. Here, at 3,600 meters above sea level, farmers still use traditional methods to harvest quinoa. Bolivia's mountainous terrain means it's difficult to modernize production. But the farmers also follow tradition to honor the earth and their ancestors. O algunas familias ancestralmente lo hacían en el arrancado de la quinoa, pero viendo el requerimiento de los mercados que están exigiendo, ahora hacemos el uso del os. La parte más difícil siempre es la cosecha, porque se requiere bastante, bastante personal. El, los primeros días, en todo caso, ahí, ahí siempre se siente el, el resentimiento del cuerpo, porque no es, eh, no es una actividad cotidiana del día, es una vez al año. Y posteriormente, al segundo o tercer día, ya el cuerpo mismo se va habituando a la actividad. The farmers drive over the quinoa with tractors to thresh it, or to separate the grains from the stems. Because of the high altitude, everything is done early in the morning to avoid the humidity. After the threshing, the quinoa is taken to be sifted, which removes any remaining stems. This usually takes place in the afternoon and depends on wind conditions. The quinoa needs to have all its saponin removed as well. Saponin is a bitter tasting chemical that protects the outer shell of quinoa seeds from pests and disease. Royal quinoa also has a lot more saponin than other quinoa varieties, which is what allows it to grow in such extreme conditions. It also means cleaning the quinoa for consumption is a lot more time consuming. The saponin has to be either thoroughly washed off or removed via special machines that won't damage the grains. And then it's time for the grains to be separated for processing. While some of this is done by machine, many parts can still only be done by hand. This intense process drives up labor costs. Esta inspección en el laboratorio de control de procesos es a mano. No, no, hasta ahora no se ha no se ha inventado ninguna máquina que pueda separar este tipo de impurezas como la paja, como el cuarzo, como la piedra. Por eso tenemos que hacer un uso intensivo de de, de la vista y de la mano, ¿no? Por eso es, es muy costoso, pero nosotros aseguramos así que la quinoa real sea la mejor en el mundo. En Hachainti recibimos aproximadamente entre 30 a 40 lotes mensuales, los cuales son procesados en esta planta. Estamos hablando de aproximadamente unos mil toneladas eh, al mes. Because royal quinoa production happens on a relatively small scale, when global demand for quinoa first started ramping up in 2006, prices skyrocketed. In just five years, royal quinoa tripled in price on the international market, hitting $3,200 per metric ton. The coloured varieties of royal quinoa are even more expensive. Red royal quinoa has sold for around $4,500 a metric tonne, and black royal quinoa nearly twice that. The UN even declared 2013 the year of quinoa to celebrate its health benefits and growing popularity, which only increased worldwide demand for it. Many Bolivians moved back to their rural hometowns to grow quinoa to take advantage of the profitable crop. In just six years, Bolivia's quinoa fields more than doubled in size, and many farmers stopped following the traditional method of allowing the land to rest every other year. The profits from royal quinoa were life-changing. People were able to build new houses and send their kids to school. Quinoa's hefty price tag, however, meant some Bolivians could no longer afford to eat it.
Nosotros íbamos para reunirnos con productores, pero en la, en la alimentación no había quinoa. But why was quinoa selling for so much? Well, in recent years, there's been widespread global demand for healthier food. And there's no healthier food than quinoa. UNESCO even named it the perfect food for humanity because it's gluten-free and has all nine essential amino acids. NASA's astronauts eat quinoa during long space missions because the gluten-free grain is so packed with fiber, protein, and vitamins. And is a great substitute for animal meat. Quinoa also contains phytoestrogens, which are thought to help prevent cancer and other diseases. And since royal quinoa is one of the largest varieties, it's considered to be even more nutritious. So Bolivia's royal quinoa crops were extremely valuable. But the international demand for quinoa and unprecedented profits that came with it have spelled disaster for Bolivia's share of the quinoa market. The rush to produce more quinoa has caused severe soil erosion and infertility. Podemos ver los efectos de ese trabajo intensivo de producción quinoa real que ya no producen nada. O salen algunas plantas, pero han quedado improductivas. Many farmers have been focusing on quinoa instead of rotating it with other crops or livestock, which has drained the soil of nutrients. And with fewer farmers raising llamas, there's less manure to fertilize the land. Recent droughts and storms have also damaged Bolivia's royal quinoa crops. El año pasado la cosecha ya fue mermada por principalmente la sequía. Fue un mal año. Este año tuvimos un, el fenómeno de la niña. Inicialmente una sequía donde necesitaba la planta poder desarrollarse en sus primeras etapas. Posteriormente se presentó lluvias permanentes. No permitieron que la quinoa pueda desarrollar naturalmente porque la quinoa no requiere de mucha agua. So production is down and the quinoa plants themselves are much smaller than usual. And despite the high demands and low supply, prices have been falling. Lo que pasa es que si bien hubo muy baja producción, la expectativa del productor es que los precios puedan subir. Pero no ocurre eso porque el mercado no lo manejamos. Ahora el mercado tiene mucha quinoa, entonces van a tener que alinearse a los precios competitivos que se tienen. Other countries growing quinoa have more modern technology than Bolivia, so their crops haven't been as affected by weather conditions. Peru has taken Bolivia's spot as the world's top producer of quinoa, and even though Peru does not grow royal quinoa, and in fact, no other country in the world can, most consumers aren't aware of the difference. The price of royal quinoa has dropped from $294 per 100 kilograms to just $83. Bolivia went from exporting 30,000 metric tons of quinoa in 2014 for $200 million to 33,000 metric tons for $81 million in 2018. Farmers are operating at a loss and they're unable to invest in the equipment they would need to modernize. The fall in quinoa prices, however, has reintroduced quinoa into many Bolivians' diets. En la caída ahora vemos que el consumo ha mejorado de la quinoa. Los precios ya son accesibles, inclusive para la población de la ciudad. No como esas veces era tan caro que era muy difícil acceder a comprarse quinoa. Hay un efecto interesante en que muchos municipios, el subsidio alimenticio, lactancia materna, está siendo eh, utilizada la quinoa como base de la alimentación. Eso es bien importante, pero falta. La, el consumo de quinoa todavía en Bolivia es bajo. Bolivia is also looking to rebuild a market for its royal quinoa. After all, the global quinoa market is valued at around $90 billion, and it's expected to grow to nearly $150 billion by 2026. In 2020, Bolivia's royal quinoa industry successfully obtained a protected designation of origin. This will help brand royal quinoa as a high-quality product you can only get from Bolivia, similar to Spain's Iberico ham or Italy's San Marzano tomatoes. Ideally, this will improve royal quinoa sales on the international market and allow producers to raise their prices, which will, in turn, allow farmers to modernize their methods while staying sustainable. Bueno, contra, lo, contra el clima es muy difícil poder hacer alguna acción, pero sí podemos mejorar lo que la parte biológica, la producción. Podemos incidir en que estas pérdidas no sean como las que se está viendo, sino que sean menores. 
mejorando la fertilidad, reponiendo la vida del suelo y que sean más productivas. Eso podríamos y estamos haciéndolo. ¿no?